Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar from BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Today I have a really cool exclusive product that I really want to show you. This is something that was uh, given to me while I was at CES this past January. And it's, it's not even actually uh, available for order yet. It's still on pre-order. And it's the Lunatic iPod Nano 6th generation case that turns your iPod Nano into a wristwatch. It is probably the coolest uh, wristwatch style case for the iPod Nano that I've seen thus far. It's a really interesting product, so let's go and switch over to the close-up camera. I'm going to give you some really close-up details of it and just show you how my experience has been while using it so far, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. Hey guys, okay, so here we have the uh, the Lunatic for the iPod, uh, iPod Nano 6th Gen. Now I'll tell you what guys, one of the main reasons why I bought an iPod Nano is because I remember just during the keynote address, Steve Jobs was showing the, the, uh, the Nano and he showed how you can have the clock feature on there. And he even mentioned, I believe in his keynote, that one of the executives said that they were going to strap onto their wrist and wear it as a wristwatch. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'd never really wanted a Nano until I saw that aspect of it. So I've been on the search uh, online from different companies to find the coolest Nano wristwatch uh, to work with the Nano. And you know, thus far, I've been kind of let down. There hasn't been too many, too many cases out there for the Nano that really uh, blow me away. They're all pretty much the silicone cases that turn your Nano into a wristwatch. But I have to say that the Lunatic is probably the coolest, baddest wristwatch, uh, wristwatch um, solution for the iPod Nano that I have seen thus far. Now, uh, guys, this keep in mind, this is not available for, to, for the public yet. This is uh, still on pre-order. I believe it's $70 to pre-order this. Um, I actually got a hold of one of these uh, while I was at CES 2011. Um, one of the distributors there that we have a really good relationship with actually had two of these on hand. He had the one, I think he was using one of them, and uh, it doesn't even have any packaging. It actually just comes in a plastic bag. Um, and so he, I mentioned to him now how I was looking for nano wristwatches, and he mentioned to me the Lunatic, and I, I practically, you know, fainted because I remember seeing, I've been keeping up with the Lunatic when they were on Kickstarter, mentioning how they were trying to raise money to uh, be able to start selling these. I just thought that was the coolest looking thing ever. So if I could ever get my hands on one, it would be like, you know, the bomb. And he mentioned he had one there, so I practically fainted. So this is something that's designed by Scott Wilson in the, with a company called Minimal, what I, what I was mentioning earlier. So this is the sample that we have here. As you can see, the Nano's already in there. You can put the Nano in there too, in whichever way you want, with, in, whether you want the, uh, the dock connector facing on this side or on the other side. It doesn't really matter, either way. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the screws and I'll show you how, how you basically comes uh, how you put this together but keep in mind guys this is not a uh, temporary solution for your nano this is a if you will permanent solution you actually have to loosen the bolts the the uh, hex wrenches the he allen screws on the side here and take your nano out of here so it's not something you can snap in and out really easily so when it's in there it's in there when you want to take it out it's going to take a little bit of time for you to take that take out the allen wrenches and unscrew the screws so this is made of a machined aluminum here aircraft aluminum really sharp really nice looking the the quality the craftsmanship is is very awesome. The design, uh, Scott Wilson did an incredibly awesome job designing this. The only thing I kind of wish they could have maybe thought differently is the way the seams are here. These two pieces come together right here in the middle so you can see the seams right here on the edges. I kind of wish they were maybe like on the sides over here somewhere to where it wouldn't be so obvious instead of just being straight down the middle. Not a big issue but just one of those things where you know like my bottom one here doesn't it doesn't line up exactly perfectly so you can kind of tell it's right there. I think if uh, maybe if they, they finish this out a little bit better, and they, it may not be as easy to tell that the seams were there, but on mine it's pretty obvious. So, the other thing I, I would like to see change too is the, the band. It, they use a pre premium silicone, but I kind of it's like it's like that gummy, stretchy kind of silicone that you see in a lot of cases. I'm not really digging it though. I don't really like it. And for me, I got hairy arms, and when I'm using this, this pulls the hair out of my arms like crazy. So it gets kind of it gets kind of annoying a little bit for me. Especially, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the average my average viewer probably doesn't have hairy arms like I do. But I'm sure some of you guys do. And that's one of the things I kind of noticed with this the silicone. It kind of sticks to your arm a little bit. I wish it was like a harder plastic instead of such a, a stretchy silicone. As you can see here, we've got this little piece right here, this middle, this middle piece. And what's cool about that is depending on how you're putting it on your wrist, you can actually pop it out like that and move this to different positions. So for me, my wrist is pretty big, so I just keep it here in the end like that. So that way, and you push it all the way through. So that way, whenever you put it on your wrist, I'm going to put it on real fast for you guys. And this band is really thick, so I don't think females, most females aren't going to be liking that too much because it's a thick, a thick wristband. So we put it on there, see a little extra hang off. And that's what you uh, poke through the end here. There you go. And that's what keeps that flush. So it keeps that band, that extra little you have hanging off, keeps it there flush. So when it's on your wrist, it looks just like a wristwatch. I tell you guys, I got a lot of looks from people asking me where I got my watch from when I showed I was doing the touchscreen. 
most people didn't realize it was a nano that was inside of here. But uh, it's been really cool. And I've gotten a lot of interest, a lot of interest from people that have been checking me out with this watch and asking me questions about it. So, okay, guys. So here we have the, it. Includes two Allen wrenches here. And the one thing to keep in mind is when you're loosening these screws up, you have to keep one on both ends because or else it'll just free, it'll freely spin, and you won't get anywhere. So, so you got one in there. Pop one in here. And then basically you just loosen it up. So I'm gonna jump real fast and go to me being done with this. So there's your first screw right there. Very small, very tiny. Okay, so okay, so once you take those screws out, you basically just pop it up and it loosens up right there. And it just slides back out like that. There's one piece right there. Take the nano out, put that to the side. And there you go. And so this actual piece, you don't have to take this other screw out over here that can stay in the place. It's just the other side there. I mean, if you wanted to though, you could you could take both of them off. So we have this piece right here. So these two pieces come together like so. And then you screw in the screws and that's what holds in the nano in place in there. So really nice quality aluminum. I mean, any, any Mac lover is gonna love this. This all this aluminum, very Mac-esque, if you will, Apple-esque. Really sharp, really good craftsmanship. I mean, you can tell that they've taken a lot of time to really to get every single angle just perfectly right. So quality overall, I'm very impressed with, very nice. So basically those two pieces come together and they lock onto the uh, the clip and that's what holds in place. So either so you can use it either way. You can have the clip going this way or the clip going that way. Depends on how however you want to have the strap on and put on your wrist if you want to keep it that way or this way. And you know, keep in mind too with the, uh, the earphone jack which way you want that going if you're going to be using your earphones with it. So really cool product guys. I've been testing this out since I got back from CS and I love it. Uh, like I said, the only thing I would like to see maybe change or tweak a little bit is maybe have a different quality uh, silicone for the band. Maybe I would kind of prefer like a hard plastic instead of that spongy, stretchy kind of silicone. Um, one thing, just to just as a, put that out there as far as using your Nano as a wristwatch, it sounds like a cool idea when you're using it at first, but the one thing I didn't really think about when using my Nano as a watch was your Nano is not waterproof. Um, now, there are some cases out there, like especially the silicone ones, where they cover it up pretty well, all the, whole, the openings and ports. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, guys, if you're washing your hands or you're doing things or you're outside doing stuff and it starts to rain or whatever, you know, normally you wouldn't even worry about it because your wristwatch on average is going to be waterproof. So your Nano is not waterproof. So keep that in mind when you're washing your hands or you're, it's raining outside or, you know, whatever it is, just keep that in mind because you don't want to mess up your Nano whenever you, you totally forget about that and you don't want to get any type of water damage. So overall, guys, really awesome product. Can't wait to see when the Lunatic goes uh, goes to market. Like I said, you can, you can pre-order right now if you go to Lunatic. L-U-N-A-T-I-K, lunatic.com. You can pre-order for 70 bucks. I'm not too much, I'm not too sure how much the uh, the TikTok retails for, but you can also check it out on their website as well. And uh, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. If you guys happen to own this product, uh, whenever this goes to market and you uh, have any issues or things you wanna mention, go ahead and post a comment below my video. I'd love to hear back from you. So I'll see you guys in the next video review.